Alright guys, Will here from ZogTechReviews.com um, I'm doing a, an extra video today uh, I just I normally do my uploads on a Thursday I just keep it to one a week um, I used to do more than that But I just find one a week perfect for me uh, However, I've had this watch for a while And it was just released yesterday And I couldn't review it previously because I, I didn't have any information on it I had no uh, press kits or anything I mean I, I could have reviewed it for what it is but I wanted to wait until I got all the information uh, before I started filming a video on it now today's Saturday and it's absolutely boiling here in Scotland I normally I've got to sunbathe for a week to go white. Uh, that's how that's how cold it is in Scotland normally, but it's above thirty degrees now, and I'm absolutely sweltering. Uh, you might find a lot of Scottish people. You've probably seen them in that movie, Avatar, because that's the kind of colour we normally are. <laughs> right. Anyway, I'm reviewing the new watch from Hitori Watch Company. It's called the Yoshino Snowdrift White and it's limited edition. Uh, it's limited to only 70 pieces worldwide. Uh, and I'd like to say thank you to Noman Watches. Uh, this video is sponsored by Noman Watches as the sent to this watch. Now, it's the first time Noman Watches have ever reached out to me uh, and I'd just like to say thank you because I have threw quite a bit of money because I bought the previous Hitori watch the Habuka uh, 39 Snow White watch I've actually bought three of them well I bought two white ones and I bought a blue one uh, so I'm guessing that no one watches seen my review on the Habuka and reached out to me so, thanks again. Uh, right, so, what do you think about this one? Let's find out, shall we? Right, guys. Uh, what I'm going to do is run through the price, the full specs, everything else that you need to know about the watch and I'll give you my thoughts near the end of the video so if you watch right to the end of the video you'll get an internet cookie <laughs> right price of these are 389 US dollars uh, I have no problems with the price whatsoever uh, right dimensions case diameter is 39.2 mil total thickness of 11.4 mil lug to lug 46.6 mil and the watch has a 20 mil lug width the weight sized up for my six and three quarter inch wrist uh, on the bracelet it weighs 139 grams the movement inside it is the seiko nh35 uh, 21,600 vibrations an hour, hackable, self-winding with a 41 hour power reserve. The case, now this is where it gets interesting. The case is brushed and polished. 316L stainless steel obviously with drilled lugs. Now, it's like a barrel shape as you can see there. Uh, but it's the watch is kind of bezel-less whereas the sides of the case go right up to the start of the sapphire crystal it's got like the sapphire has a bezel like a beveled edge all the way around and it's flat on top uh, but the case it's kind of unique it does go right up as I said uh, steps down between the lugs 
there's various finishes on it, you, as you can see there. You got brushing on the side there. You got a big, m massive. I, I wouldn't even call that a, a beveled edge. It's just like a, a polished relief that runs right along. And the the, the finishing is really really nice, by the way. Uh, how would you describe it? Shiny. <laughs> Aye, it's very shiny. Uh, you can see of what would have been a bezel between the lugs, and that's polished as well. Then you've got brushing on top as well, around the side of the case. So you've got brushing, polishing, brushing, and then you've got polishing between the lugs, you've got polishing on that part of what would be the bezel. It's a really nice design, I like it. Now, a lot of you watch snobs out there are going to say, Oh, it looks like a Grand Seiko. Well, it is. It does. I'm sure that's where they get their inspiration from. When I first got it, I actually thought, because I've had experience of Grand Seiko, but just on the lower end, I've not had like a vast uh, variety of Grand Seiko watches here. Uh, so when I first seen this watch, I, it reminded me of the Citizen Chronomaster. I reviewed that recently. That was an excellent watch. I loved that watch. It's one of the best watches. I mean, I actually thought the Citizen Chronomaster was better than the Grand Seiko that I had. But anyway, this is like Grand Seiko slash Citizen Chronomaster on a budget. I mean, what, just over £300? Or three hundred eighty nine dollars. Ah, I'm just stuck for words. I really like this watch. I really do. Um, right, let's continue. Done the case. Right, the bracelet is a three link number, but they've upped this from the three link that was on the Habuka. As you can see, the finishing's different. You got portion on the sides of the links brushed on top but you also have a polished uh, like accent on the mid link on both sides that's this is why it, I mean this is why it reminded me of the chronomaster because that has the same feature I mean the finishing is not as good as the chronomaster I mean that had uh, uh, what do you call it Put it up on the screen. I forgot the name of it. That hand portion, what do you call it? Oh, for fuck's sake. It's on the tip of my tongue. I can't remember. Anyway, obviously the portion of that and the price is way above this. But it's still very nice. And the way it's been executed is lovely. I don't have any issues with the finishing on this. I think it's great. I mean, this is only a £300 watch. So, all the watch snobs out there that start saying, oh, it's Grand Seiko, blah, blah, I just fuck off, leave me alone. This is what it is, and the price reflects that. Uh, right, oh, I forgot to talk about the clasp. The clasp is milled, as you can see. I'm pretty sure that's a pressed upper, but that's okay. Uh, six levels of micro adjust, so you can't really complain. I wouldn't expect on the fly adjustment. Um, all right, San Martin do it, but I mean, no, everybody is producing watches on the scale of San Martin. And remember, this is a limited edition watch. There is only 70 pieces worldwide. The one I've got is number 38. Quite happy with that. Talking to serial numbers, it does have a unique serial number on the back. And when you go to order the watch, you can actually pick what number you like from what's left. Now, oh, I've lost my place. Oh, the crystal flat sapphire, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, 
decent amount of AR cotton and it's clear AR cotton, it's no it's not got that blue hue to it. But I'm gonna talk about what to put it down because I just start jiggling the watch about too much. Let me talk about the dial, right? It has a textured white dial. Now, see when I first got the watch and I had no information on it, for the life of me, I couldn't work out what exactly this was. Now, the Citizen Chronomaster, that had that uh, paper dial, it was all handmade and Zaratsu Polishing, that was the name of it. See, I told you it would come to me. <laughs> Having an argument with myself here. Uh, aye, that had like that handmade paper dye on everything. And I thought this, I know this isn't handmade or anything else. But it's only, in, see when you look at the watch, 90% of the time it's white. But if you catch it at the right angle, see there. The texture on it, it's like, it's no marble. Do you know what it's like? It's like a, a white dial if it had a map, world map placed on it. Because, I mean, it's no a world map, but that's what it's like. It's like a really subtle change in colour, but you can only see it now and again. I know, I'm talking a lot of shite, but I think you get what I'm meaning. And I see if it had any silver or on the dial, no, no, the markers or anything, but the dial itself, it came, if it came across as like silver or cream or anything, it doesn't. It's diff, It's just um, different shades of white. And as I say, you know, when you look at it, majority of the time it's white. It's only like when you catch it at a certain angle, you could see the effect on there. It's great. I like it. I really do. Uh, oh, no, I'll just leave it there. Uh, what else? It has a slope chapter ring, and obviously the minute markings are all printed. Looks really good. Uh, applied hour markers. And they're multifaceted. There's. Wait, I'll see if I can get a close up of one of the markers. Focus your bastard. No, that's not going to come across properly. Anyway, they're multifaceted anyway. Uh, a combination of polishing on the sides, polishing on like the sloped angles. And it's got a slither of brushing on top. Nice, I like it. And you might think, oh, silver on a white dial, it's not going to be very legible. I have no issues telling the time of this watch at all. You see what I mean? You just put it at any angle, really, and it's still legible. Mainly due, to, it's a bit of a light show. I suppose when you take it outside, it's, it's not going to come across on camera. But if you take it outside, and obviously you start moving it on your wrist, and that you, it is it, that's exactly what it is—a light show. Uh, what else about the dial? Uh, Dauphine hands, and it has the, the same kind of effect as what the indices have. Really nice. The seconds hand is blue. I'm not sure if it's blued, i.e., heat treated. It looks like it. Because it has a, well, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I'm not hundred percent sure if it's blued or painted. It certainly looks the part, anyway. Uh, last but not least, you have a date of three that's framed. However, uh, the frame is sunken into the dial, which I don't mind at all. It's when they stick out. Like the Chronomaster, for example, no, uh, no keen on that. Because oh, if it sticks out, all it's doing is casting a shadow over the date window. Uh, I mean, didn't get me wrong, I know they're paying homage to like a Grand Seiko and whatever else. But 
I would have still liked to have see, made this watch their own, i.e. put the date at six. Happy days. Oh I if the date was at six, right, that would have been perfect. Uh, and there's no need to frame it either. But if it was framed and at six, it would be delicious. Now, the printing, that, the, their logo, which means Hattori or whatever it may, uh, oh, just bumped the tripod. That's actually applied as well. The, it's print, it's, there's printing there below the pinion and it says Yoshino Automatic. And you also have printing there, what does it say? Japan Movement NH35. See that there? Delete that. I wouldn't have had that on there. There's. I know it's an automatic, I know it's an NH35. I don't need it printed on the dial. Or, albeit very small. That's it. Wouldn't have been my choice. Uh, what I would have done, I know it's an automatic as well. Now bear with me. I'd uh, put the date six, deleted the text under the pinion, and just had the model name, i.e. Yoshino, but in a nicer font, and I deleted this te small text along the bottom. That would have given it a really clean look. Anyway. Just my, that's my own personal taste. That's what I would have done if I was a designer. Right, moving on. Uh, I've done all of the, the dial. Water resistance is 100 metres, so spot on. That's that's all I need. Uh, screw down crown, screw down case back. Perfect. So, everyday watch. Everyday sports watch. Right, case back. It's an exhibition display, and you have that kind of blue theme on the rotor. Personally, I wouldn't have bothered with that. Uh, you've got basic specs around the edge there, as well as your unique serial number. Oh, excuse me. And you also have that kind of effect. Kind of, it's no coin edge, but you can you can see what I'm talking about, round edge, and obviously that bit's polished, and your wee lugs there for unscrewing it should you feel the need to regulate the watch. Now I put this on the time grapher, um, and it performed pretty well. It was sitting at plus seven seconds a day. Uh, very minimal beat error. Uh, that was dial up. Seven seconds a day, I can live with that. Uh, what's next? Uh, the crown is six mil. Screw down, as I mentioned, and signed. Perfect. I know that should made that a wee bit bigger. Maybe seven mil. But, you know, I pretty much see that in every review, don't I? I want the crown seven mil. Aye, but, I mean... Because of the unique design of this case, I think 7mm would have been better. Because you you look at the profile and you think, oh, that's quite a chunky watch. It's not. It's only 11mm. That's why it wears really well on wrist as well. I'll give you a wrist shot in a wee bit. Now, I said at the beginning of this video, I was going to give my thoughts at the end of the video. Well, I'll pretty much give you my thoughts all the way through this. Uh, so, tough titty. Uh, right, where am I? Where to buy? They're available now. If you want to jump on these, you better be quick, because as I say, there's only 70 worldwide. And I know at least three people that have spoke to me, and because they got a glimpse of it, and they also seen it on Instagram uh, yesterday, Uh and they asked me what I thought of it, and they just jumped straight into it and bought the watch after what I said to them. Because they were comparing this to my last review of the San Martin, and I said to them, given the choice, I would pick this over the San Martin. If I could only pick one, right enough, I've got both. So, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> 
Uh, right, the warranty on this is 12 months. Can expected, but I would have liked to have seen two years. I think two years should be the standard right across the board. Doesn't matter, uh, two years minimum. It doesn't matter if you're a big Swiss brand or a micro brand. Two years should be the absolute minimum. Right, I wouldn't, I'm not going to give you a wrist check today because I'm not wearing a watch because I had this on before I started recording. So, all you've got is a tan line. Oh, that, check that out. <laughs> right, I'll give you a wrist check. Right, no more fucking wrist check, a wrist shot. Let me zoom out a wee bit. Right, there, yeah, that's better. As you can see, a short lug to lug of what, 46 and a half. Fits my wrist perfect. Sits in the wrist uh, really well. I don't have any issues. When I first seen like the design of the case, I thought it would wear quite top heavy or, you know, stubby because of the design. But it does it bollocks. 11 mil, wears great. I love this watch. I highly recommend it, and this is going on my elite list, even though it's a limited edition and there's only 70. So if you want one, you better get your arse in gear, head over to Newman Watches and buy one. To be honest with you, if I never got this from Newman Watches, I'd have bought it. I would, because I love this style of watch. And as soon as I got the email that they sent to everybody, uh, yesterday, I'd have jumped on this, I'd have bought this straight away. However, sponsored. It's not often I get sponsored these days. Anyway, I highly recommended Platinum Award straight on the Elite List. Buy it. Buy it now. Right, I've waffled on long enough. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Uh, please like, share. Comment, subscribe, it all helps. And I'll see you in the next video. Toodles!